Center Stage Magazine's 2024 CRS interviews are brought to you by Four Branches Bourbon. Four Branches Bourbon is founded by veterans from the Army, Navy, Marines, and Air Force. They served honorably, and they drink honorably. They ask you to do the same, but most importantly, please don't drink to forget, sip to remember. Hey everybody, it's Missy Wolf, and we are with Alex Miller, last day of CRS. How are you doing? Well, I'm still here. <laughs> Okay, you and I are feeling the same thing. We were both at the same party last night. Uh, probably so, probably yes, so. Yes, and your jacket. Oh, well, your thank you. Your jacket last night. Yeah, I, I, I dressed like a fig tree last night. Oh, my God, you're so... <laughs> so silly. I no. try to be. No, it your, was it was pretty sharp jacket. Your jacket was hot, like well, in the, the gold. Yeah. Oh my it was, gosh. It was, I spotted that and I was like, I, I could steal that jacket from you. <laughs> well, thank you. I could 100% steal it and just, oh, it was fun. Well, thank you. Did thank you. Did you have a good time last night? I had night? a great time last night. Yeah, getting to see a lot of the new orders coming yes. out, that was cool to see. Uh, uh, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed that just as much yes. as anything. Now, did you have a favorite performer last night? Because I did. Chase Beckham was my favorite last night. Wow, you, he was. Did you guys see that? You were. Well, quick. me and him were on the same season of Idol, and yes. so I mean, he did some Johnny Cash. So respect to him yes, for that. Yes. Oh, absolutely. So do you guys still stay in contact? We do. Yeah. He actually okay. reached out to me while I was here. He said, "Hey, you here for CRS?" I said, "Yes, sir." And so uh, we got together and got to talking about Idol stuff last night. Oh, that's so much fun. Okay. Do you want to know who my favorite was last night? Uh, I do. Color me bad. Yeah. That was my that was my jet. They announced Color Me Bad and I just left my husband at the table. I ran to the front of the stage. <laughs> I had my cell phone out. I was rocking out, singing every song. It's pretty cool. Oh, my, I was I was just in heaven. It yeah. was great, but so many artists last night coming out and celebrating all the decades. BBR put on one hell of a show. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. It was fantastic. And Jason Aldean singing Brian Adams. I know. What like What a what a treat. Yes. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. What else have you done while you've been here at CRS, aside from doing all these crazy interviews? Well, uh, what I try to do this time was meet up with a lot of program directors that are yes. playing my songs, and yes. uh, that's a very important thing to do, because if it wasn't for those people and the fans, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Isn't so that kind of the, uh, of the country radio seminar? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, took a, I took some people to dinner, and I took some people to breakfast this morning, so uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm well fed. Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Did you guys go down to Kitchen Notes? Uh, no. Uh, we went to uh, uh, a fancy restaurant. I don't know. It had a bunch of faces on the wall. I don't know. What the... Was it good, though? It was a fan one of the best steaks I've had. Yes, it was really? really good. Really good. Okay, so after the interview, you have to tell me where that was. <laughs> because Missy's always looking for a good steak. Okay. And, you know, it's kind of hard to find sometimes. Like, yeah, I have, agree with that. You know, you, you know when you've had good steak versus mediocre. There, that there's a there's a big difference. <laughs> there, there really is. There really is. But let's talk about your music. Yes. What do you have going on right now? What I mean, I know you got stuff coming on. You're always busy. Hey, yes, ma'am. I like it that way too. Um, I've got a brand new record. Uh, well, an EP coming April the 12th, and it's uh, it's called My Daddy's Dad. And it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, uh, my daddy's dad is also a song, so that won't get confusing. But uh, it's an EP and a song, and the uh, the the title song of the, it's about my granddad. Yeah. Uh, the record is uh, songs that I'd had recorded, uh, but this this song is we've been doing our live shows have been getting a really great response. So I wanted to go ahead and get it out there, and so that's kind of, it's kind of a compilation of some things that we've had in the can for a while. That's great. Now, was it hard for you to narrow some of that down? It was, uh, because we had a lot of great songs pitched to us, and I had written a lot of things that I wanted to cut. So yeah. uh, we uh, we kind of got the best of the best, the cream of the crop of what I've got so far together. And, and truthfully, it's one of my favorite records. That uh, three, you know, I got to yeah. you know, everyone gets better, you know. But, uh, but it's true. It's well, one hundred percent true. Just like when you're an interviewer or you're an artist doing any of this stuff. Your first event, there's going to be kinks. There's going to be. Oh yeah. And you, you constantly are going to grow. Exactly. Well, it, if you don't, if you don't grow, you ain't doing something right. That's the way I look exactly. at it. Uh, exactly. So we, uh, th this has got some great country music on there and that's what I want with this record especially with it being about my granddad because just knowing the country music lover that he was I know he'd want me when to hit if he was going to be associated with a record it'd have to be a good country one and the title and then the title track like yeah. you know what I mean like that that's pretty great and as an artist when you get to write your own material and you get to write about 
someone or something that means so much to you, it makes it that much more special. It does. My granddad just meant the world to me. He uh, He's the reason I'm here, truthfully. Uh, he, uh, he couldn't play guitar he couldn't play instrument and he played the radio real well and so uh we, we <laughs> you can uh, free of charge uh but uh, he would he'd tune into the old stations and we listened to his favorites like ray price ernest tubb the old guys oh, yeah. and so i grew up listening to that and that's what's influenced the voice that you're hearing right now and uh the uh, I, I, the guy just was a was just a, a great mentor to me and i miss him every day oh i you know what i miss him for you i miss mine yeah so much and Man, they do. They play such a key role in your life and in and, and who you are, shaping who you are and who you become. And Absolutely. It's just fantastic. But is there anything else you want to tell fans? I know I'm going to have to let you go. Oh, you're I fine. Could, I could talk to you forever. <laughs> I, really could. I could too. You know what? You're so much fun and you've got such a great personality. And I know the fans at home relate. They know. They, they see it with you all the time. And you're just, you're, you're like one of the nicest nicest people in the industry. Well, I certainly try. I hope I hope that that reputation stays as well. I always I always strive to be that. So yeah. thank you for saying that. I, well, I see you. I watch you. People come up to you and say hi and no matter what you're doing, you make time for them and you 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 don't brush anybody off. Well, it, fantastic. if it wasn't for those people, I wouldn't be sitting here doing this and I realize that and I appreciate that. So thank y'all for sending me to CRS. Is what I basically what I need Absolutely. to say. Well, yes, thank you guys. Keep sending him to CRS because we <laughs> love him. I want to keep interviewing him. He's amazing. And if you haven't followed his journey, it's not too late to start. Jump on that train now. Yeah. Until next time, everybody. We'll see you soon.